guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Cake, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I want to show you my jewelry haul. I went a little nuts last campaign, and I ordered a lot of demos of our upcoming jewelry. I'm so excited. I am a sucker for earrings. I love earrings. I think besides my wedding ring and my engagement band, um, sorry, my engagement ring and my wedding band, um, the most common piece of jewelry I wear are earrings. I mean like, I don't know, just something about earrings. I just, I love how they, they can make an outfit completely different than if you're just going completely jewelryless and even if I'm wearing some clothes that are just a little bit more, we'll say shabby chic, um, or just kind of sloppy. If I, uh, throw on a pair of, uh, earrings, I feel. I don't know if I really look it, but I feel a little bit better <laughs> about myself. I don't know why. I just love earrings and I love dangly earrings. I usually wear slightly bigger earrings, um, slightly more statement piece earrings or, you know, somewhere in between. Um, I don't know. I just love earrings. And so <laughs> I'm actually starting to run out of space for my earring collection, but that's okay. I'll still keep buying. I want to show you some of our newest jewelry collection and it is gorgeous oh my gosh it's very um, Paris inspired and I just I love how chic everything is some of the pieces are a little bit I don't know it just reminds me of like Audrey Hepburn or some of them it's like kind of almost like um you know like the roaring 20s I don't know it's just I love the pieces this this uh, for this launch so this launch I believe it was launched in campaign 19 which is upcoming um, and like just to kind of flip through real quick it's just like oh they're so gorgeous so gorgeous, aren't that, that so pretty? I love it. Look at this piece. I didn't order this demo because I, I can't afford to order everything or yeah, I, I just can't afford to order everything. But I mean, look at this set here. Isn't that so Art Deco? It is so nice, I love it. It's so pretty and I love the color combination. There's a lot of, like the jewel tones are starting to come out. I guess they're starting to prep for fall. Um, so there's a lot of jewel tone pieces. Pearl, like um, pearlesque items are coming back and oh, just so gorgeous. Okay, so I can't wait to show you. So this is probably one of the, uh, the last ones of the more of the summery look I'm going to show you today. So this one here, it's so pretty. It's um, the beaded, sorry, the beachy, beaded blush teardrop earrings. Try saying that but five times fast. Beachy beaded <laughs> beachy beaded blush teardrop earrings and they're so pretty. They also have the ones that are complete circles but I ordered two other ones that are uh, like complete hoops but this is just a nice shape and I think it kind of elongates my chin a little bit to make my face look less round so but these ones are really nice and they're very light and it has a slight go um, rose gold tone to it so it's really really pretty this one here I got this is called the chain fringe hoop earrings and these are all chains Ooh, la la. so I got the two of these I got this in both gold tone and I also got it in black, which is the hematite. Hema this is one I need Heather to help me pronounce things. Hematite. Yeah, hematite. Hematite? Hematite. I think it's a hematite. Pronounce hematite. But the, these are the hematite ones. They're really lightweight. They're kind of fun, flirty, and a little bit rock starish, is how I feel about them. And um, if you like coordinating your jewelry, I believe they also have something. Um, they have like. A bracelet and earring oh, sorry this is the earrings they have a bracelet and they also have a necklace to go with it too but I mean I would just wear these aren't they so nice I'd have to wear my hair up with these simply because I have really dark hair and if, if I didn't you would never see them but wouldn't these look so cool with like a pair of skinny jeans boots and you know like a looser off the shoulder uh, knit sweater especially for fall oh my gosh that looks so gorgeous it would also look really cool with you know like a pair of um, ripped jeans and like combat boots yes ripped jeans combat boots and that torn fringe sweater that they had in mark last year that would look so hot oh my gosh yes totally hot oh I love it I love it I love it so I got it both in gold tone and the black color of the hematite now going into the Parisian expired expired inspired 
pieces. So this next one is the Cafe Chic Drop Earrings, and they're tinier. I mean, they're not very big, but they're very. It's, it's a very classy look, and uh, the top ball there is like uh, threaded, and then the bottom one here, it's. Um, all beads. I feel like this is very Audrey Hepburn inspired. Imagine having your hair up in a beautiful chignon and then you just have like that classic, um, you know, classic black dress. This would look so classy. It's so pretty. The next one I got is this ring. I love thumb rings. I'm a big fan of thumb rings. And this is the Celestial Spirit Moon Ring. It has a little star and a little moon and it's open so it's kind of forgiving so I can wear it in different fingers but I like it on the thumb. I'm a big thumb ring fan. The only thing is whenever I wear thumb rings on my right hand because I already have a ring on my left, uh, whenever I wear a ring on my on my right thumb, when I use chopsticks I have to take it off and I'll put it in the middle. But this is so pretty, isn't this? The final two pieces are my favorite pieces. Okay, so I want to show you the necklace first. So this necklace it's called the Cafe Chic Long Tassel Necklaces. Tassel Necklace. So ne tassels are still it. Over the summer, we had like bright orange ones from Mark, and they were just so fun and flirty. And then uh, I think it was like earlier on in the year, we had the long black tassels one, which was super glam. Look at this one, so pretty. It's a really long necklace. I'm gonna show you. It's so long, I can't fit it in the video. On me. It actually goes to my belt line, but I'm short. There's an extender here, so you can make it a bit shorter if you want to, or if you like it long, it could be at the length I showed you. So it has the two tassels. It's accented with kind of like a coppery bronze beading, as well as an almost like an iridescent silver and hematite color. Uh, the chain itself is it's black. Right? It's a fairly it's a fairly thin chain, so it's not like a really chunky look. It is a classier, nice classy piece. Now, this is my favorite piece. Like this is the pièce de résistance. I am so in love with these. Look at these. Oh my god. Aren't these gorgeous? They are so fun, so flirty. It has five little mini tassels and then the chains um, it's like the, the tassels are gray and then there's one t like there's two tassels uh, two of the chip beads are kind of like this black gray color so like a darker gray but has a bit of a sheen to it and then the other ones they are gold tone rhinestone encrusted chains so there is definitely tons and tons of glam in this like, oh, how pretty. And it's kind of fun because it tickles your neck. Like, oh, hello, hello. It just kind of reminds you that they're there. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so in love with these. I can't wait to wear these. These are so pretty. And they're so light. Like, they're super light. Because, I mean, because it's, well, it's tassels, right? Um, and then at the very top, I mean, these are studs, right? And then at the very top, there's one rhinestone-ish bead that has a slightly smoky gray color, which is nice because it kind of just complements the rest of it. Now, if you do have an ear sensitivity, know that all of Avon's um, uh, earrings, um, if it's not sterling, uh, listed as sterling silver, they are nickel free. But if you do have a sensitivity to the earrings, what you do is you take the stud here, right? And I used to just dip it into polysporin before I put it on my ears. Or some people have said to um, paint it with clear nail polish and let it dry before using it, and that's helped. I literally, I just dip it into some uh, polysporin and it's fine for me the entire day because I used to have uh, get really bad almost um, like it gets really irritated like hot and red it gets really inflamed but lately it's been fine I haven't had any issues with the uh, earrings I mean mind you those earrings I wore were non Avon's before my Avon days and it was just in general I just couldn't wear the earrings but um, and then I started dipping in poly and it got better and then someone told me, oh, you can use a clear nail polish and paint it and it works too. So, man, little tip, give it a try. Let me know if that works for you in the comments below. So that is my jewelry haul 
for, uh, well, I guess right now we're in the month of August. So that is my jewelry haul for the month of August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What was your favorite piece that I showed you today? Were they the long tassel earrings? Were, what, was it one of the hoop earrings? Is it this one here, which is a slightly more summery look? Comment below, let me know which one was your favorite. Cause I mean, I love them all. Or if you have some, any uh, looks that um, you could help me create because I am not very fashion forward. <laughs> I wish I was, but I get a lot of help to help look decent. <laughs> uh, let me know. Give me some uh, fashion ideas too of how I can wear this jewelry and how I can pair it with certain clothes. I would love to hear from you. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon so you always get notification of all of my videos. I try to post between two to three videos a week, and if I do have extra time, I post up a fourth bonus video and of course if you truly enjoy and loved this video or just me uh, make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up for this video until next time guys mwah, 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 mwah. love you guys all and i'll see you in the next video bye by the way if you're wondering why how i got a new background it's not because i didn't like my last background it's just i kind of went on a rampage to, um because I was looking for a product, can't find the product, and now my office is an absolute disaster, and I look like a slob. So, those posters is to hide my mess. <laughs>